Hey there, my name is Susanas and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved Scorsters. The Phoenix has arrived, yes! <laughs> In this video I'm gonna show you how to tame it, what's the best way to tame it, how to trap it and what you can do with it. So let's get started with this video! Okay, well you can tame the Phoenix only during superheat. When it is superheat it will spawn. That one actually is a wild one that just uh, spawned over there when I uh, admin seeded the superheat. You can do that, uh, check it out, you need this command. Alright, we have a level 12 wild phoenix here. And uh, I have my crossbow ready with flame arrows. It is just a primitive one, so 100% weapon damage. And uh, let's shoot one in the butt. Let's see, you do 0.2% taming process. Now let's try to shoot it in the head. And we do now also 0.2% taming effect. Let's try it out again. Yeah. Okay. So with the flame arrow you do 0.2% taming process on a level 12 Wild Phoenix. Alright, I spawned a new one in. This is my uh, flamethrower, just a primitive one with 100% weapon damage. I want to see how much taming process it will get with one flamethrower ammo. So uh, let's burn it down, come on, burn baby burn, already 1%, 2%, it's lagging a little bit, or at least the, the frames are a little bit low, 4% already, okay I think we can make 6 or 7%, 5 now, there we have 6, and then we get 7, can you do more, 7.8, on a level 12 Wild Phoenix. Okay, that is a decent amount. And now it is time for the Wyvern. A level 12 Phoenix again. And this is a level 1 Fire Wyvern. With a base stats of 105 melee damage. I want to see what that does. And over there I have my high level 1 that has 504% melee damage. So I'm gonna ch check the difference. So uh, let's burn. Come on. Did we do anything to it? Or didn't we do anything? 0.8? Really? Only 0.8? Oh my god. Okay, uh, let's try the higher level one. Okay, as you can see, 0.8 with the level one. Now it is time for this one. It has 504% damage. So uh, let's check if there is any difference. Then come on. Show us. 4.3, so that would mean 3.5%. Uh, so indeed, it does a uh, more, uh, more uh, taming process, the higher the damage of the wyvern is. So check how fast the taming effectiveness is going down. So it is hard to uh, tame one uh, with uh, taming effectiveness maxed out, because it loses it fast. In order to uh, tame it, well, you need to burn it, I think the flamethrower is the best option. But how to do that, because uh, they are up in the air, like over there, and how can you do that then? Well, you can use, for example, a tribe mate in the Tapajara. The tribe mate is flying your Tapajara and uh, you burn it down. Or you can trap it. What? You can trap it? Yes, you can. So let me show you how to trap it. Imagine, you finally found the Phoenix, you want to start taming it. And then the Super Eat ends and it dies out. Just before you got it. So what you need to do is look for this. Look for this pile of rubble. Because after the next Super Eat, Really? Check it out. It will start and rise again at the same spot where it died. Check it out. How cool is that? So, it doesn't matter on what server you are or on single player and all the kind of things. The wild ones, when they die out, they will spawn at the same spot where they died. Well, and how to trap it? Well, after you have seen it die, so it dies right here. It leaves something behind. You have to know that location and after that you can place, uh, for example, foundations. Don't place it actually on the location where it was. Just place it around it. Just something like this. And yeah, you can also use pillars. So I'm gonna use pillars to block it off. So, uh, yep, yep. So this is all vanilla, nothing special. And uh, then you uh, make a big cage. So the phoenix cannot fly through uh, these gaps between two pillars, so that is nice. Alright, this is my trap. So just some pillars around it. And here I started off with some foundations. 
and I put it five walls high on the lowest point so this would be about three walls high and I hope that is enough so let's start the superheat again let's see will it spawn inside no it spawned on top oh no it spawned inside it spawned inside yes it is trapped for a moment I thought that that pile was on top of the building but it is inside and what you now can do is trap it even better so uh, yeah for me it is luckily in a corner but if it not not in a corner make the room as small as possible so it cannot uh, flee away and then you have one point to uh, use your uh, flamethrower of course so we're gonna make it as small as possible I have some ramps here so we can use those as well okay and then all you need to do is put out your flamethrower and start burning it and you can tame it it cannot flee away so this one will be yours except not when your flamethrower breaks <laughs> but yeah this is how you can trap it how easy is it and uh, remember when uh, you don't tame it fast enough it will go away so it will go away now but remember when it dies out now the thing is on top there now so for the next time you have to break this down because if I start I'm going to start it again it will spawn right on top of the building so then it is gone so that would be a shame so keep in mind if you couldn't tame it in time but you had it trapped well just uh, remove the trap and uh, replace it again because otherwise it will just flee away next time well let's check the stats of a level 1 phoenix how are they 220 health 220 stamina 60 weight so the weight is really really low 175 melee damage and 100% movement speed and the weird thing is you can already ride it you don't need a saddle I don't understand why why they uh, didn't add it I, I know it looks cool with without a saddle I totally agree with that uh, yeah it looks totally fine <laughs> and once I have a tame Trasonus what can I do with it well what you cannot do with it is landing I'm pressing space now it, it starts to fly but what is that I think that is the blaze attack check it out pressing space you're gonna fly faster and faster turning into a fireball and you stop until uh, you hit something or you're out of stamina and food then it will stop and you're, you're now a fireball you can set things on fire and you can control it as well slowly though so you can aim where to go I'm not using my uh, uh, direction keys, no, just my mouse. Looking where to go. Okay, let's try to uh, burn those here. Come on, and we hit them. Yes, and they are on fire. <laughs> that is so cool to do. And how to regain stamina? Well, just stop flying. Just hover in the air. Just like the old days with the Quetzal. And as you can see, I think you can already see it in the screen. The stamina is going up. Of course the food is going down, right mouse click is shooting a fireball, that's the napalm attack. You're gonna release a fireball and one, once the fireball hits it will light up the area and it will stay on fire over there for a couple of seconds and then it is gone. But how to set it also on fire is with the left mouse button. Left mouse button is a, is a bite attack, let me show you that. So we bite and we spit some fire out. This is right mouse click, shooting a fiber, oh, straight up in the air. <laughs> and then we have C attack as well. And what is that? A grapple, a grab attack? No, it is not a grab attack. You cannot grab anything with it. Well, check it out. Here are some Jerboas. Can we grab them? No, we cannot grab them. What is going on? Well, the C attack is not a grab attack. No, it is a harvest attack. Check it out, you can harvest stone and sand with it. Let's check obsidian, can we do that? No, we only get stone. Let's check out crystal. Can we do that? No, only stone. Salt, can we do that? It is not working. We're only getting stone. Well, we can harvest wood and thatch. But the metal, come on. Do your thing on the metal. No, only stone. Can you do sulfur then? No, it cannot do solver. So, out of the rocks, it will only get the stone. And uh, sometimes a little bit of sand. So that's a little bit sad, because this one eats 
Solver. Check it out. I have some solver here. And let's check the food. Food is going up. And when this one poops, check it out. What is this? An egg? No, it is a silica pearl. This one poops. Silica pearls, as you can see. How nice is that? So, once you have a phoenix, you also have your own silica pearl form. <laughs> Okay, now we know how to tame it, what it eats, and what it poops. <laughs> but what does this mean? Blaze targeting off. Jeremy says that it has a blaze mode. When it is off, it will set fire on all enemies. And uh, when it is on, it will set fire only on the enemy that you target. So we have it off now. And let's test it out on this group of Jerboas. Let's see, what will you do? Come on, attack, uh, attack it. Do you set one enemy on fire or more? You set more enemies indeed on fire. You killed at least three of them. Okay. Okay, now we have uh, blaze mode on. So let's see if that really works or not. So, attack. Uh, well, you set several creatures on fire, not only one. Um, maybe it only works uh, against humans and tamed creatures. I don't know, but... Well, for now, uh, for me, it didn't work with wild creatures. <laughs> and you probably wonder, how do you heal it? Well, check it out. I'm gonna shoot it down a little bit. It is almost dead. You're gonna take out your uh, flamethrower. And you're gonna burn it. Check it out, you're healing it. How cool is that? <laughs> Besides looking awesome, being hot, setting things on fire. This one can also cook meat, as I've shown you before. But it can also melt metal into metal ingots. How nice is that? Just put it in and it will make metal ingots for you. I know the weight is low so it is not really useful. But I think it can be useful so for some uh, yes, situations. And in case you wonder can you breed with the phoenix? No you cannot. They don't have a gender. So that means they cannot breed. I got them on the oh, wandering. But, as you can see, nothing will happen. They, they're just gonna go wandering. <laughs> and that's it. And I'm gonna end the episode of this amazing phoenix off by showing you some of the different color variations it can get in the wild. So, I spawned 30 of them in and I uh, kept the ones that are uh, not the same. And check it out, this one has some blue feathers here. And uh, some orange yellow on top of the head, a black tail. This one has green on top of the head. A purple on the wings and on the body and a brownies uh, tail uh, this one has a dark red color scheme and with some uh, dark blue in it and a red orange uh, head looks amazing this one has a really bright blue very different black tail red head and this one has cyan so it is not mutated no no I didn't do anything I just spawned wild ones in looks awesome and over here we see the white head, a white body, black tail and uh, black feathers. Looks nice. Totally red. Oh, oh no, to not totally red. <laughs> Some black as well. But it looked uh, totally red and in flames. Then we have uh, black with dark red and yellow. Oh my god, I think this is my favorite one. Yes, because you can see clearly the different uh, kind of feathers and colors and... Woo! It is hot. It is on fire. Awesome. You're an awesome birdie. Yes, you are. <laughs> so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Leave any thoughts about this video or whatever in the comment below. And as always, if you haven't already and want to see more of me in the future, then smash that subscribe button like a maniac. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.